Hi, we're here in Arizona at uh, True North Golf Club with our salt on a swing, Jeff Ritter, Golf Punk's very own salt on a swing. Jeff's going to sort out our problems with our golf swings. Jeff, what have you got yeah, for us? Thank you. You know, there's a lot of things we could obviously talk about related to hitting better golf shots, but, but one of the things that I tend to see on a daily basis has to deal with arm swing, arm separation, and then sequencing between the arms and the body. So what we're talking about here is when golfers swing back, very often their arms fold up. So they lack that extension we're looking for in the backswing. As they come into impact, their arms are folded, their elbows are separating, they're adding loft to the golf club. And then as we swing through, the arms are still very close to the body. We don't have that extension into the follow through. So what we're really talking about is arm sequence and arm length throughout the swing. So one of the coolest images that I always remember as a coach is the illustration of, of Ben Hogan. And Ben Hogan was setting up and he had his elbows together and to try and get across his point, the illustrator had string or twine around his arms kind of cinching those elbows together. So what we're going to do is we're going to help you at home with the use of a little ball here. Go out to the store, get a ball a little bit bigger than a grapefruit, a little squeeze is good to have with it. Put it between your elbows, right, and try and cinch those elbows together squeezing that ball. So now when you swing back, if you keep that ball squeezed in there, you get that extension you're looking for in the backswing. As you come back down to the golf ball, keep squeezing, and now the arms are long, and you can see how loft wants to come off the face. Into the follow through, you continue squeezing, and now you have extension that we're looking for in pretty much every golf shot. So great way to do this, grab the ball. I like to have people grab maybe a pitching wedge, a nine iron, eight iron. Give it a squeeze, make a half swing at a comfortable pace, and see how you do. Squeeze back, squeeze down, and squeeze through. It's a little fat. You can't tell that on camera, can you? We'll try again. That's what we got all these balls here. Give it a squeeze, squeeze back, squeeze down, squeeze through. I like to have my clients do maybe two or three of these, drop the ball down, go ahead and go without that ball between the elbows, but try and keep that same feeling. Squeezing it, remember that picture of Mr. Hogan? Squeeze back, squeeze down squeeze through and very quickly you'll find that your contact really improves especially on these iron shots so when you get back home go ahead grab a ball squeeze away i guarantee it'll help fantastic thanks jeff why don't you do some sort of wrap up for us to wrap make, up make it all this sound a bit more professional well that's easy tell you what for daily tips and news and all things golf check us out at golfpunkmag.com <laughs>